Let's take a look at my steed. <laughs> my, my monstrous steed. Here it is. Um, let me show you something that is sort of cutting edge uh, and that we're gonna make a video about more, but uh, I'll be able to test it out before it even goes to market. And so you guys can get a sneak peek at it. This is their padded seat. You can see it's got uh, lumbar support that goes off to your, uh, to your sides. It's got uh, like a crotch pad that kind of, actually I'll show you, this is the foam setup. So you've got this hard piece here, this uh, soft uh, comfort piece, and then you've got another piece here that lifts this section up. And so combined, they, they make a really, really nice um, <laughs> ball, ball bed, ball, ball comfort balls, a, a, a really, really nice, cupping of the huevos, a, a very nice pillow for the ping pongs, uh, uh, a saddle for the berries. <laughs> yeah, anyways, it actually really, it's designed so that when you sit in it, uh, when your legs are, are working the, the trike and you're pedaling, that that area doesn't get in the way, but also gives you a little cushion where it counts, you know what I mean? <laughs> Anyways, it's a new product that they're developing right now and it'll be out eventually, but it's not quite in the mar on the market yet, I guess. And uh, I'm, I'm sort of doing some reviews on it and I'm able to see it. So I'll, I'll ride home on, on this trike here. This is a TIE Fly X. So it's got the extra big tires in the front and the extra big tire in the back. These tight, sorry, extra big wheels. I have a problem with words, specifically we made a video the other day, and every time we were supposed to say wheels, I said tires. Every time I was supposed to say rims, I said tires. Every time we had to talk about lacing the spokes, I said threading or some stupid thing. I, I, I get the intention right, but I just don't get the word right. And, and when I'm making a technical video for Azub for them to use on their website, it makes me look really dumb, and it makes Azub look dumb if I use the wrong words. So. I have to re-record that video tomorrow where I talked about <laughs> the tires, the tires, the tires, measuring between the tires, when I should have been talking about measuring between the rims. Because we're actually making a video about uh, setting the, the tracking. Um, but I kept talking like, you have to measure between the tires. <laughs> and it's like, no, you gotta measure between the wheels, the front edge, uh, front edge on the rims of the wheels. Anyways, so this is, this is the, uh, the padded seat. And so that's gonna be a lot of fun. And it's got a cassette on the back. So it's gonna be cool. I'm very excited to take it on the road here. Jayo to that. That's, that is a way, way better experience than I thought it was going to be. I was pretty apprehensive. I still am a little apprehensive because this has got a motor on it. I turned the motor off and it was a little bit hard to pedal. But do you see how high this grass is? This grass is up to my, to my elbow or higher. And this is, this is not even that high. This thing was barreling through the craziest terrain just now. And it wasn't even breaking a sweat. I could barely feel it. <laughs> I, could be I couldn't even feel it. It was like we were going, driving through a cloud. We were just riding through a cloud. And that seat, oh, it was like I was sitting on a cloud, riding through a cloud. Yeah, I was sitting on a cloud, riding, out, uh, riding through a cloud. Holy shit. <laughs> 
<laughs> these big tires, the 26 is on the front, and the tie fly uh, titanium suspension and that comfortable seat all work together to give you a truly, truly unique ride. And, and <laughs> beautiful, beautiful, holy moly. Look at that. That's the grass I was riding through. I'm gonna go on the other side, the light's better. That's, a, that's the grass I was riding through. You could barely see the trike. And I was just, I was like riding up in this stuff and across the center, center median and stuff. Holy moly. Tommy likey. Tommy want wingy. Does anybody, anybody know that reference? <laughs> well, I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to travel with this thing, how I'm going to mount it to the van. But I sure as hell am going to have a lot of fun riding it around, figuring that out. Holy moly. All right, it's seven o'clock. We have some time. This is one thing that was on the trike, which I'm very happy about. Little cup holder. Oh, scrum diddly umptious. Yeah, I said it. I said it. Don't judge me. I'm not even feeling this, guys. If I was riding any other trike, <laughs> I'd be I'd be bogged down. Oh man, this thing just chews up the trail. Look at this thing just chew up the trail. Dude, those flowers, <laughs> those flowers are, are <laughs> up to my waist. <laughs> oh. And this seat, this seat is so luxurious. I feel like a, it is really, really nice. The only concern I'd have with it, maybe the fact that it has so much foam in it, it could mildew if you don't have a space to keep it outside. So like if you were say doing an extended tour, but you weren't actually stopping at places where you could dry out the trike on days on end, you might run into a problem with with fatigue of the material and the foam. But if you had a, a cover for it, you were able to air it out every day, you had a garage to drive it to, oh man. <laughs> this seat cover is awesome. And I'm riding, do you see what I'm riding over? This whole area I'm riding over is, is sort of obnoxious with regards to uh, terrain. Oh boy. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Now we're now we're cooking. Now, my my reaction right now is I'm pretty happy. I don't feel like I'm I'm my center of balance is too high. There was a bunch of people that that think that my center of balance is going to be too high in this and I might tip. I mean, I don't really feel it has a pretty nice smooth feeling to it when you when you bank. I like it. <laughs> I like it a lot. I do like feeling I feel like this is more the trike for a guy that's six foot two, which is what I am. Okay, I'm gonna turn the, the motor off and now I'm just pedaling the standard way. And I'm doing alright. I'm pedaling normal. It's good. Now I'm gonna turn it on to eco. Now I'm gonna to go to trail, 
which is a little bit more power. Now I'm gonna go to boost. Ah! We're going 30 mile, kilometers an hour right now, which is pretty nice. So much fun, guys. Oh, I gotta figure out a way to put this on the van. There's no, no question now. I'm gonna turn off the power and we'll just ride naturally. And we'll see how it goes. Cause I'll, I'll actually go off, off the main road here and we'll see how she goes. This is quite nice. This is, I feel like there's no power going into this system. It's just me riding. And it is, it, there's not a lot of rolling resistance. I thought there was gonna be more rolling resistance. Okay, there's a little bridge up here and it's a bit narrow and that'll give me a feeling of how wide this is. I don't think it's actually much wider than their other rides. The tires are fatter, but the actual dimensions of the the rim to one side to the other is not that bad but yeah it's a bit of a tight squeeze here but not too bad something is biting me little insects one of them's on my ass or something or it bit my ass <laughs> oh this is so nice guys oh boy The cassette on the back is very responsive too, like it's extremely responsive to my shifting, which I like. And then th this is an interesting area for a bottle mount. I could put a camera or computer there. I'll have the uprights here that'll go up, the stand-up assist. See the moon up there? It's pretty nice. Let's go up on the sidewalk here and see how she goes. Oh boy, that was nice. That felt good. <laughs> By feeling good, I mean I did not feel going up onto that curb at all. Oh, this is gonna be fun to drive around tomorrow. As far as video goes, this thing really lends itself to video. The larger tires make it less shaky and way more smooth. I mean, I'm, I'm riding right now and look at my head position, my shoulder position, and the position of the camera. This is a very good speaking position. I am liking that. Okay, now we're going uphill and I've just shifted, I'm shifting down. And this is like one of the moments where you're like, okay, these, these big resistant tires are gonna be a problem, but I don't really feel it. You know, the other thing is, I used to ride a vehicle like my previous trike, my first iteration, second iteration was like, you don't even wanna know how heavy that thing was. It was like 500 pounds. Me and the trike and the trailer. I didn't really care about how slow I went. I just wanted to keep my body in shape and, and I think this can do it. But let's turn the corner here, almost to the hotel. I'll stop this when we get to the hotel. This, I hope that these episodes aren't too long for you. <laughs> the last one I did was like 20 some minutes. They're fun days. And I don't wanna cut them short. My channel, my choice, right, right? Always kids hanging out there every day. A different group of kids hanging out there, just chilling. Ooh, bugs. All right, guys. That's the end of the vlog for today. I like this. We're gonna have a lot of fun on this. We're gonna have some adventures, not on this specific trike, maybe on this trike, but eventually we're gonna have it on the same, this, 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 this trike's cousin. Anyways, like, subscribe, share, comment, hit the no notification bell. I've noticed a few of my longtime subscribers are sort of coming back into the fold now that I've kind of been on the road and I'd, I'd like you to join us again we're gonna have some fun we're gonna have some adventures there's gonna be some family back in the mix for a while 
there's gonna be a new trike there's gonna be all sorts of fun stuff so you don't want to miss it bye guys